Hey guys, um, so today we will be learning how to visualize data on React Native. So there were many uh, YouTube videos that I found for line chart data visualization, but not many for the progress or any other kind of charts. So today we'll be making a small video which is going to show that. So wait, let's get started. So this is my code for React Native. It's pretty basic. It has a home page. Here we will try to visualize our data. So let's go ahead. So we see the progress ring here. So this is what we're going to implement now. And you see the code here. Um, what we need to do is copy paste this in here right there and then copy this progress chart in here under the home page and let's format it format the document and then let's save it for now. And all you need to do is all, um, just um, change the code a little bit and we can have our data visualization on the screen. So for this one, we just need to copy um, we just need to replace this. We have to code it. We have a code given on the app. Let's just take this in here. And I'm going to replace this code. So like this. And save it with um, adding. We also need to change it up a little bit. So for this one, let me see, let me see. Yep, for the width, um, it's going to just take the screen width, and that's something we just need to replace in here, and then we have to import dimensions. Dimensions, save, and uh, for this chart to be implemented, we need to have two packages. Right here, import components, okay? If you're using React um, Native, then just uh, type in npm add. You can just type that in here. So npm add, what is it? Um, React Native chart kit. Okay, so react hyphen native chart and it's gonna load that there it's gonna download the whole stuff whole component and and we also have to install this as soon as that is done Ooh, look at that <laughs> never ending sweet it's almost done Right. 
it's complete opening is it still going still going right and then we have to install another component and this is going to run without any problems so done do we have the package i'm guessing it's Oh yeah, so yeah, what we had to do is import this so we have native what is those? So there you go, we can save that and now try uh, doing the add again Okay, this for now and do the same and run it again hopefully it should work mm -mm. let's get the progress chart running in our app soon I think it's going to it should, it should not take that long mm -hmm. let's see there you go That is getting done. Yeah, that's done. And we're going to install another one, which is add React Native SVG in here. So npm add React Native FN SVG. Work. Mm, is that the right code? <coughs> right command. Yeah. Sweet. Uh, as soon as that is done, we should see. Done. Now let's see. Pretty progress chart doesn't exist. Why? Can we do npm start again? Now, let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's try and see what has happened so far. We, it does say we need to install React Native SVG version 13.1.40. Let's see, let's see. Um, we can. Right, we'll ask it to reload. Good confidence. We love the app. Go on, go on. Go on. So, package PNG. Hmm. Mm -hmm. There you go. Has reloaded. 
so we don't see anything at the moment um there is a problem rns is rns vg svg we all enjoyed so that's uh let's just um go here and then expo install this to fix the issue in here so we can just go there stop the server and paste the command okay. so we will for now we will run the command it's just a thing to install we have made of SVG for now at the moment because it could change all the dependencies version if we change the React Native version along. So we're just gonna use SVG. We're gonna change that. Compatible mobile user and the install. Cool. That is happening. Let's try. Solve it. Okay, now we can check our app works after we install the package. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see. Come on, come on. So we have another problem. Huh. How do you fix this issue? I think we will reload this one. Just always reload and it will work. Just about the node modules and stuff. So we have something. We have the progress chart, and you can change um, the background with colors that you like. Suppose let's go and fix uh, this more color thicker, and we can choose the colors that we want. Suppose we want some. We want something like pink in here and we can just change the color there uh, gradient to one from so you can choose between two shades two pink uh, from suppose like the purple we can just take purple and we can just paste it from from color gradient there save it and see what it looks like now save that and we can remove the opacity uh if you don't want that okay. save it it's gonna have an error 
does it. Ooh, okay. Maybe undo that. Save. And we're gonna just take this off. Okay. Nah. We'll keep that back. There. Sweet. Um we can have white color. What color is that? Hmm. So here we have a progress bar and you can change um the you can definitely customize these stuff and uh, that will change how it appears in here suppose we change this to 22.2 save it yeah see it changes and that's how we do progress bar track and you can make it more better with your visualization so yeah that's progress chart and you can pretty much do the same thing um you have you just copy paste the constant here and whatever chart you want from npm chart kit you can do the same exact stuff for um line chart you can do the same thing for the bar graph chart you can take the constants you can take this bar chart code and then replace you can take the bar chart code you can replace this with chart config like we did and you can replace that if that's not working and install the rsvg version and you'll get a bar chart like this or you can do that same thing you can just copy paste this about after export and then return inside return code you can um use stack bar chart and replace the screen width and con chart config and you can drop that chart as well so this is how you can do data visualization um on your app same you can do the same thing for your pie chart as well it's pretty similar once you get to know how to use it, it should be great so top. hope it's helpful and hope you learn something and yeah goodbye take care peace out